Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Jason. All right, so let's move on to our first FE practice problem for today. All right. So、uh, for this question, you see there is a a beam structure. Actually, it, this this structure is composed by two beams. All right. Let's call it first beam and second beams. The first member is connected.、Um, Is fixed support at the left left hand side, and the right hand side is hinge connected to the second member, right? And the second member has a roller support at the at the other end, and we have three kip、uh, loading、uh, point load at the、uh, midpoints of the second member and pointing downward. Okay. And the question is, what is the bending moment directly under the load? Okay, so we're looking for the moment at this point, at the midpoint of the second member. All right. So usually, before we start calculating、um, the inert internal force of a beam structures, we usually、uh, determine whether this structure is statically determinant, right? So. First thing we have to do is we have to determine whether or not this structure is statically determinate. So what exactly does this mean? So statically determinate structure means you can use enough force equilibrium equation to solve for all the reaction in this structure, right? So that means. If all the reaction, the total number of the the reaction is R minus three n, n will be the number of members in this structure, and three that represent that each number can provide three force equilibrium equation, right? And that's equals to a a value, and this d values we call it the indeterminacy. Okay. The degree of indeterminacy, right? So let's write it down. So R is the the number of reactions, and N is number of members, and D is the degree of um. In the term, mean C, right? So if D equals zero, that means this structure、uh, has enough, just enough number of、uh, force equilibrium equation to solve for、uh, the number of reactions. So that means it is statically、uh, determinate. Right, that makes sense, right? So let's take this structure for for example. Okay, so number of member is two, right? Because we have two members, and the numbers of reaction is from the fixed support we have three unknowns, uh, one, um, one reaction in the uh. Let's call it y direction, and the the other horizontal reaction at x direction, and also we have a a moment. Okay, so that's three plus at the roller, it only provides one reaction vertically, so that's one. But at the hinge support, it transfer only、um, the Vertical, I mean the transfers reactions and also the longitudinal directions. So it provides two unknowns.、Uh, I mean two reactions. So the total reaction is six, right? So R minus three n is six minus three times two, and that's zero. So this structure is a statically determinant structure. Okay. 
So that means we can figure out the reactions for, for the support and also the internal um, forces at the hinge. Okay? So um, actually for this problem, you don't really have to do this process because uh, from the answer, uh, it has uh, all the numbers here. So that means it should be statically determinate. Otherwise, you won't be able to solve for any uh, reactions, right? So if there's a one of the answer is uh, non unable to solve or um, the structure is indeterminate, uh, that that way, then you, you should uh, go through this process and then find out whether this structure is statically determinate, okay? So let's take a look at another example. So if this structure has only one member without the hinge support at, at the as a connection, then for this structures, we have one, two, three, four. We have four reactions, but we only have one members. So that's four minus one times three. So that's one. So that means this structure is first degree of indeterminacy. So that means we need another uh, force equilibrium equation to solve for the, the reactions. So usually uh, the, the, the problems will provide like, um, let's say there's a settlement here. So you will know that uh, in terms of the settlement, the, the reaction here will be a certain value so that you know the reactions at this point, then you can like uh, recalculate back, back check um, the reaction that this support that's uh, in this fixed support, right? Or other way, um, other situations would be that they just simply provided the, let's say the moment reaction here is 100 uh, kit feet then you already have one of your reaction known, then you can use um, the force, uh, force equilibrium equation to solve for other three reactions, something like that, okay? So I just want to make a point that um, this is also a critical um, topic about um, being structure and also for a stru uh, trust structure we only we also have uh, this topic to talk about whether to, to uh, teach you how to find out whether or not the, the, the structure is statically determinant okay all right so i think we we talk enough about this so let's move on all right so um we're looking for the bending moment at this point right so i think the best choice is separate this two member and then develop your own free body diagram so let's take so this is uh second member so for the second member here we have a roller provide one reaction and then uh free kip at the midpoint and also here we know the hinge support will transfer shear and actual force okay so this are these two are unknown okay but we don't have to worry about the, the internal force at the hinge connection because uh, we can easily solve for this reaction by taking the moment at this point right so let's call this point point um, C so let's take moment at point C so three kip times a feet that should equals to r times 16 feet right so that means r is going to be 1.5 kip and then um so we know this is 1.5 and this is going to be 1.5 as well okay so uh at this at the moment at this point 
So we can cut this member in half like this. So this is 1.5 kip, right? And then this is going to be your moment. So 1.5 times 8. So we got 12 kip feet, right? Because the shear will stay the same along this way. So the shear diagram will look like this. Right? This is going to be negative. So this is 1.5 cap. And the moment at this point is going to be the area of the shear diagram. So this is going to be um, this. So this is your moment. So 1.5 times 8. So that's 12. Okay? So this is also negative. All right? So um, in, in terms of structural analysis, this is a very uh, simple and basic uh, practice. Um, but for, for those who are not uh, structurally structural uh, major, uh, you can use a little bit more practice. So for, for this question, I guess uh, calculating the, the moments is, is the easy part. But um, I just want to remind you that uh, there, could, there could be problems that asking, asking about how to calculate the static uh, determinant uh, to, to ask you to determine whether or not this structure is statically determinant or um, ask you to calculate the degree of inter indeterminacy, okay, something like that. So. Um, Still, this is a very good practice, and I think uh, you should try to use this problem f not only to calculate the moment, but also practice how to draw the um, shear diagram, moment diagram, and also calculate some of the um, deflection due to the loadings, something similar or something that related to uh, structural analysis with a, a statically determinant uh, beam structure, all right? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the, the videos and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.